Hey, I am Dr. Matt, a dentist, and I hear you have a little tooth issue today, is that right? All right, let me just have a look in here. Oh, I see the problem right there. I'm gonna give you a little shot to numb you up. You won't feel a thing. All right, I'm gonna give you a little injection in here to numb you. Okay, you feel anything yet? Starting to feel it? You should feel it right about now. Oh, yeah, okay. Look, can you see me now? Oh, oh, it's weird looking, right? All right, give that another five seconds. You'll start to drift off, and I will get started on your procedure right away. Hey, all right, you coming too? Hello? Hey, 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 good. Good, good to see you. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. Good news and bad news. The good news is your tooth, great. Everything's fixed. I totally fixed that. Bad news is I haven't actually been a dentist for long, maybe like two weeks. Uh, I was... For the first 20 years of my career, I was a veterinarian though, and I just wanted to change, so I went to dental school. So I kind of just was into the music and listening to the music, and I panic easily, and I just sort of went back into the old veterinarian groove, and I, I was on autopilot, and I did the surgery that I performed most in my career. Yeah, they're gone. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. People don't actually wear these things, do they? I, I, I'm a veterinarian, been one for eight years now. Never seen one of these in my entire life, but we found one online, came with this stuff, so we thought, what a good idea, let's get one. This is an x-ray vest. They are lead vests, everyone's heard of lead vests. If you ever need an x-ray of your leg, your arm, anything like that, you put this on, it blocks the x-rays from going and hitting your internal organs, which are more sensitive to x-rays. So this lead, blocks all the radiation going into your body. So the thing about lead vest is as you can imagine, they have lead in them, a metal, and they're very heavy. It's not like a piece of fabric. If you've ever put one of these on, you know. They're heavy, they weigh you down, they're thick. And some people wondered, are they bulletproof? I don't think they are, but I'm here to find out if they're bulletproof, oh sorry, that's, that's gonna get us demonetized for sure. Like we weren't gonna get demonetized already. Twin two long rifle, uh, it's gonna go straight through it. <laughs> I'm fast. <laughs> Literally could not have been a better shot. But did it go through? Very much so. There's our exit wound. Straight through. Okay. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you! And I'll, oh wait, we, know, we, got, we got a bunch more. We're gonna stack them up and see how many it takes to be bulletproof. Stacked four on there this time. As you can see, we have four lead vests. Let's see if it stops a 22 long rifle. 22 long rifle. Dead center. Hit. Yep, came out. Four does not stop a 22 long rifle. All you guys who said that lead vests are bulletproof, not looking so good. We have more. We have 10 this time. We got five of the big ones. We got five of the little ones on top of it. These are actually, I think, thinner than the other ones. But there's 10. I actually think a 22 will not go through 10. 10. Hit. There, there, in here. Ooh, I feel it. We got a bullet. The last two are not hit. I got it, I got it. Oh, it's hot. Okay, it went through eight. Stopped on the ninth. Well, now let's see if uh, birdshot will stop on 10 lead vest. We're gonna do 12 gauge birdshot this time. It's crazy to me that it's not even slowing down a little bit in the first ones. Oh, there's birdshot falling out, so we're stopping stuff. Oh, yeah. Birdshot all in that right there. So that was five. Let's go straight. Yeah, did not come through to the end. A lot of birdshot in that. So that lead is just a rubber layer that I would guess has a bunch of lead dust in it. And they want it to be flexible is the reason. So yeah, it looks like it stopped on the eighth, I think. We haven't made it through yet. We're gonna have to go higher. We're gonna do nine millimeter now. <laughs> you thought I was gonna shoot it fast? There's not even one in it yet. Oh! Got you again. Yeah, I missed. <laughs> Ah, 
missed again. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Let me do it one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it missed. I just I thought this one had a collar too. I always aim for the jugular. Uh, we'll shoot it again. Woo! Stuff's falling out. I can hear it. I think it went through though. Yeah, I feel it. I can't. I can't show you guys. There's too much stuff here. Here's the inside layer. Hole right there, and hit our target right here. Nine millimeter went through ten, but we have more. I uh, also ordered one of these groin protectors. I ordered a double XL, but it seems like I probably should have ordered a triple XL. Just kidding. No, that's a that's a neck thing. Uh, we have 15 on here now. 15 lead vest. We're gonna see if it will stop a nine millimeter. We don't need that. Nine millimeter out of the Bull Armory race gun. I bet it went through. I bet it did. One, two, three, four, five. Still going through. Still got two holes. One of those was the first nine. One's the second nine. Let's just see if there's two holes on that. Final layer. Two left in it. Two hits on target. 15 lead vest will not protect you from a 90 millimeter. I'm gonna try one more thing. We're gonna put them all back on here and shoot it with a 45 ACP because it's a bigger, heavier, but slower round. So it might stop. We'll see. 45 ACP. This is a full metal jacket. And I might fire more than one at it. Let's see if they went through or not. All stopped on the first one. That's crazy. Oh, no. I'll be back in a minute. Let me go find out. This is the third from last. Still out of holes. This is second from last. That is the last one. And I think everything went through. Yeah. There's the inside of the last one. It got pretty shot up. For all those people that said a lead vest can protect you from a bullet, they're wrong. You can tell them that they're dumb. I tell them I said that they're dumb. You know, unless you're sitting at your dentist's office and a gunman comes in and he has a 22 long rifle and everyone's like, get the vest. I would push Deborah out of the way so I could have all the vests and I put 10 on and then I would be protected from that 22 long rifle. In that case, yes, it's sort of bulletproof. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Oh, by the way, guys, make sure to floss. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby!